Hey guys, I'm Anish Patel from AndroidRoots.com and so let's go ahead and take a look at Rasta Cat ROM for the Nexus 4 running on Android 4.4.2 KitKat baby, latest and greatest Android version. Uh, so this ROM is pretty on solid, not any problems at all and of course you guys are running the latest Android version. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive into settings right away and as you can see right away settings is all dragged out so that's one uh, new feature you usually don't get from a stock ROM. Um, so it's nice and blacked out which will save you quite a little bit of battery life just because black saves more battery than actual gray settings. Uh, so that's a nice feature. Uh, but all the options and tweaks you're going to get is under Rastacat, under Build Tweaks, right here. And let's go ahead and go all the way into Status Bar right away and take a look at some of these things. So Brightness Control, um, once you do enable this, you can go and slide your finger across from the Status Bar and adjust the setting. As you can see, it dims it and then it becomes brighter right there too. Nice, nice feature right there. You got Battery Style as well, so you can go and change it. By default, it's an icon and you can go and change it with icon with percentage or circle and circle with percentage or just nothing if you don't even care about battery just <laughs> I don't know why but it's an option um, right there uh, you, also got, you also got quick pull down so right now it's set on right um, so once I go and quick it pull it down from the right you get quick settings or if it's in the middle you get notifications or on the left it is notifications as well so I like that feature it saves me a lot of time so constantly just swiping away um, that's a nice feature too. Uh, you got navigation bar, so you can change the um, how big it is. So if you have really small hands and you don't need this this big of a navigation, you know, bars at the bottom, you can go and change it to a smaller size if you'd like. Or if you have bigger hands, just leave it to the default. I wish there was a bigger option and you know bigger than default, just because if someone has really big hands and you know can't even use these, um, it'd be really helpful for them. Uh, but either way, it's still a nice option. Right there, um, you also have volume rockers, so you can go and adjust that while you're playing, uh, you know, sound and all that too. Um, you also have save headset volume, so your, um, you know, once you do plug in your headset, um, you know, the speakers aren't all the way to the blast, and your ears aren't gonna bleed. <laughs> so I would leave that on if you guys, you know, want to be more safe just in case. Um, <clears throat> you also got quick launch right here, so I went and said torch and um, lock, uh, uh, screen lock, so you can go and change any of these for any of these options. And now once I go ahead and go from the home and swipe up, I can go and turn on torch right there. Or I can go and turn it off as easily. And I can go ahead and turn off my screen without even pressing the power button because let's say you have small hands and you can't reach the power button. Um, there you guys go. That's how you turn off the screen. Uh, so that's nice and convenient too right there. My screen keeps getting dirty. I think I have to clean my hands or my screen. I have to put in a nice new layer um, right there. Um, that too, let's go ahead and go into lock screen sliders. So once again, I already had and added um, camera and Gmail right there, but you can go and add one more. Let's go and add, just for the heck of it, you can add any of these, or you can go into apps and add any app you'd like to easily access it right away. Uh, so we can go and add clock, okay. Back out of that, and now I'll show you a little demonstration of it. Now you got camera, clock, and Gmail. Uh, I'll just show you camera, just because I'll show you it launches and show you it actually does work with this ROM just fine. Focusing works just flawlessly. Video recording works too, just fine, as you can see. Um, so it's all great, no crashes, crashes or anything like that. So that's nice and convenient too. Um, right there, um, plug and prompt is very basic, nothing too crazy. Once you do go and plug it in, it will actually make a noise. And if you want to turn on the screen if you like, um, it will make a noise or it'll actually turn on the screen if you'd like once you do plug in your phone. Uh, so let me show you that. For some weird reason, once I do plug it in, there is no sound. Uh, but when I, once I do pl unplug it, it makes a sound. So you can see, you can go and change the ringtone too for your um, preference. So you can go and change any of these. So you can change it to whatever sign, whatever that is, if you'd like. Uh, so that's nice too. Or if you want to vibrate as well, you can do all three things all at the same time too. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, right there. And lastly, which I really do like, that I'm really glad it's built in and you don't have to go to a third party app and install it, is notification LED. Uh, so by default, you get a nice white LED. But let's say you got a missed phone call, you don't want it to show white. You want to know a specific color so you know it's a missed call or a voicemail. You can do that too. Um, so that's pretty nice. Um, so use custom values and you can go and change this to any color you'd really like to. Go change it to a nice green right there. Okay, and now it's green once I do get a missed call or it's a voicemail, I get a white one too. Um, so that's nice, and it's a pulse notification light too right there, and you can disable it if you'd like. And let's see, let's see what happens when you add it. Oh, okay, so that's nice. So if you add it, let's say Gmail, you can go and change the color. I'll change this to red, 
just because Gmail is known for that red icon look kind of right there. Um, so now once I get a new uh, Gmail, um, I, it's red. So I know which one it is. So that's pretty nice. I like that. It's very nice. It's built in. And that is pretty much it. That is Rastacat Android 4.4.2 KitKat ROM for the Nexus 4. If you guys enjoyed this ROM review, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom left hand corner. I really do appreciate all that support you guys do give me. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and link down below uh, for all the actual ROM. You can go and download this, guys. That's pretty much it. I'll catch you later. Peace.